So, Slata, we're very happy to see you here at the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, it's your third time that you have entered the um, Ukrainian final. You had two other songs called Tiny Island, which came fifth. The Kakoshka came Kukushka, second. Yes, Kakoshka, it's a bird, Ukrainian and Russian bird, Slovenic. Mm. <laughs> so this time uh, it has, your dream has come true to yes. represent your country. Yes, my dream come true, dream of my team come true because it's very honored to represent Ukraine and all of my fans uh, supporting me in Ukraine and uh, um, have a powerful support. Yeah, great. And you, you are also um, very successful in the Ukraine already. You, you were you're celebrated as a new star. Um, and I, I, I personally know your music. I, I thought it was brilliant, especially the song called Viva. Viva. Wow, yeah. you know this song. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's for opening. Uh, Viva, the most beautiful people in the Ukraine mm -hmm. every year. And I opened this ceremony and my composer Michael Nekrasov mm -hmm. created this song. Ah, he okay. created all my song. Gravity, Kukushka, Tiny Island, Japan, okay, one day. Thank you very much um, good luck. A lot of. Yeah. I must say that we have a really good video clip as well. It really looks like Avatar. Avatar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, because, because very futuristic. Because I'm a dreamer. Uh, one of my favorite books are uh, Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, and mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And of course, Avatar, one of my favorite fantasy movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, you can also see a lot of butterflies in your video clip as well, which is similar to the logo <laughs> of this country. I, th I think it's a sign. It's a big sign for uh, Ukraine, for my team. Uh -huh. And I'm scared butterflies. It was my phobia. Oh, really? Really. Oh, no. But one month ago, <laughs> I take butterflies on my hand. Farid Mamedov, he represents Azerbaijan, he gifted me a butterfly, six yeah. or seven. And I'm very, really scared. My Drzala. Shaking, my hand is shaking, but I took the butterflies. Oh, it's wonderful. And now I lost my phobia in the past. Yeah. I'm not afraid of butterflies anymore. It also has a strong message in your song uh, where it says, no, no, I feel no fear anymore. Yeah, so. Yes, uh, I think everyone uh, must be a strong person and uh, everyone can be a dreamer. That is my meaning on the song and um, powerful gravity mm. of course Ukraine doesn't take part that many years uh, in the history they, they started the debut in 2005 uh, oh, 2003 with uh, Alexander Hasta la Vista so but Ukraine has been very very successful always in the final um, so do you think it's easy to reach the final because Ukraine will always get votes <laughs> Uh, what actually he's mean? Uh, you know, honestly, of course, I feel a great pressure mm. because of my fans, everyone who supported me, uh, I don't know, destiny, it's destiny, but um, anything could happen. Yeah. I think only about music and uh, to deliver my music uh, for all who are watching the Eurovision contest. That's my dream. But you have a good help. The composer is called uh, Mikhail Nekrasov. Yes. I hope I pronounced it right. And uh, he's the same one who uh, composed Show Me Your Love. Yes. And, and also he the also Wild Dance. He Wild Dances for Slanas. Yeah. And he is a um, great composer. He uh, working with a lot of European musicians. And uh, Karen Cavalerian, he's a lyricist. Yes. He created for Annie Lorak, uh, Shady Lady, and mm -hmm. Dima Bilan Never Never Let You Go. So it's a dream team for me, I think. Uh, What's your expectation from this Eurovision Song Contest? Do you think uh, you could win it? Is it is it your your wish to win it or just to participate? Uh, you know, I don't think about win. Uh, I think every time in every contest in my life, I think only about music, mm -hmm. only about performance on the stage. It's a great meaning for me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, it's a first major experience. It's a huge stage, a very big stage, and uh, meeting a lots of interview. And uh, I think, and I hope we have keep in touch with all participants on Facebook. You know, 
maybe some duets after Eurovision with some participants. Uh, would you like to say something for your fans in the Ukraine on your language, please? Oh, okay, it will be great. Я вітаю усіх наших глядачів, хто живе в Україні, хто жив там колись. Я дуже вдячна вам за вашу підтримку і сподіваюся, що тепло наших сердець, ваших сердець допоможе мені гарно, гарно виступити і представити нашу Україну. До зустрічі, ваша Злата Огнівич.